Hello, Booktube. My name is Elizabeth, and welcome to Book Babble. So, today I am going to be doing a small um, haul video, and I'm going to be doing my ridiculously horrid weekly wrap up. Um, so, let's just begin with the book haul. I got a couple books in the mail this week from independent authors in exchange for an honest review, and the first one I got was Want. Um, this is the first book in the Numbered series by Magus Tor, and this is a dystopian type sci-fi novel, young adult. It looks really good. It's got kind of like a cinder feel, I guess, because there's lunar colonies and things like that. Um, I'm going to read the description on the back. Trust no one, no one trusts. That is the way of Lunar City. In the year 2278, inhabitants of the United Earth are separated by distance and classes. Lunar City, the city built for the rich and the desolate, destroyed Earth for helpless rest. When Aurelia, a young medical graduate, is given a job posting at Lunar City Hospital, her would-be ideal assignment soon turns into a nightmare that leaves her and her first VIP patient marked as prey. All that Aurelia knows to be true is turned upside down by one word, the resistance. With a lofty decision to make, and members of her class deeming her a traitor, the young doctor must see her way past the lies and betrayal to find answers that could save the lives of many. But who can she trust and who really trusts her? So this looks awesome. Anyone who's a fan of dystopians or sci-fi novels, I think you will really, really like this. Um, this is from an author who is from Singapore. I am going to put all of the links to this book, uh, the Amazon page where you can buy it, the Goodread page, all that good stuff um, down in the doobly-doo, so please go check that out and support your independent authors. The next two books I got are uh, the first and second book in a series by Diane May Robinson, and the first book is called Sir Princess Petra, and the second book is called Sir Princess Petra's Talent, and these are super cute. I love the front. It's got dragons, and I am pretty sure that um, the author author Diane Robinson did this art as well and I just think she is so talented because I am not artistic in the slightest bit everything would be like stick figures and and stuff like that but I think it's the cutest thing and this book is only 64 pages and it's even got pictures in there and in the front it's got books with maps and I know you book two fantasy lovers love books with maps in the front and I just think that it is the cutest thing because it's you can tell it's hand drawn where did it go there it is I just it's so cute I think this is going to be a really fast fun read I plan on reading this to my baby brother after I read it myself the first time this one as well has pictures and I just think the pictures are so well drawn I love that they are in pencil and they're not colored I just think it gives more of that fantasy feel old schooly type feel to it I just think it's just awesome I love the covers and the characters they just have so much life to them and you don't get that a lot with hand-drawn um, art like that. I think they're just the cutest things and I am super excited about reading both of these. Thank you so much to Diane Robinson for sending me the copies of her book. I am going to be doing a review on this very soon as soon as I'm done reading this. Again with this author and book I will link all of the information that you really do including the Amazon page and the Goodread page so please go check them out. I also forgot to mention that this month I started my Percy Jackson read-along which I am going to to link the Goodreads page down in the doobly-doo and that is where we read a Rick Riordan and Percy Jackson series book one every month until we're finished and that basically puts us finishing um, around November of 2015 so this is the book we're reading to begin with and all of the information again I said is going to be in the doobly-doo so please go check that out if you want to reread the series if you've never read the series and you want to start uh, join. It's for anybody to join. Now, as I said, my one measly book that I read, and I didn't even read this. I, s I had started it. I was on, like, 
the first five pages when I did my weekly wrap up last week and I'm only like halfway there this week. This week has been crazy. Um, my mom throws a huge Halloween party every year. I was staying with my mom all week helping her get ready for her Halloween party and then we had the Halloween party and then we had the Halloween and I was trick-or-treating and all of this stuff. So it was just a crazy, crazy week. I have not been able to finish this book. I was hoping to get the whole series finished before the end of October and that definitely didn't happen. Um, all I can say is that I really enjoyed this book. Um, the publisher sent me The Sorcerer Air for um, review, and I'm going to be doing a full series review as soon as I'm done. I've just got to, there, I have to finish reading The Dragon Air, and then there's The Enchanter Air and The Sorcerer Air left in the series, and I hope to finish this hopefully before the end of the week so that I can do a review on this for you guys because I just have so many books that I have to read this month. Like I said in my last video, Katie from Kit Kats Can Read is doing a review at thon this month where you just catch up on all the reviewing that you need to do, and I have a total of 11 11 books that I have to review um, hopefully very soon including the three that I just hauled for you guys um, and I also have five books that need to be turned into the library in the next month <laughs> so I have quite a lot of reading to do so that's it guys for my um, ridiculously sad weekly wrap-up. Okay guys, thank you so much for coming to my ridiculously horrible weekly wrap-up and my tiny uh, book haul, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!